I'm Paul Diefenbach, and I'm co-director of Drexel's Replay Lab on game design, as well as head of the game art and production major here at Drexel, um, which is one of two majors that we have here for doing game design. The other is we do in cooperation with computer science's concentration in game programming and development. Game design at Drexel is a very cooperative program between not only different majors, but different schools here at Drexel. Um, because it touches on many different areas. So Drexel Game Design is a collaboration between the Digital Media Program in the Westfall College of Media Art and Design and the Computer Science Department in the College of Engineering. We approach gaming from the very beginning as a multidisciplinary approach and provide a multidisciplinary collaboration uh, into, uh, in our programs. Game design is one area where we bring together different technologies as well as different backgrounds to create something new and exciting. Uh, what I have here is a PlayStation Move controller on top. Uh, all this information that is calculated from the controller is being sent to the PlayStation 3 over there and captured by that camera. The information is being sent to a server uh, that's uh, basically taking all the information from the PlayStation 3 and this controller and converting it to a 3D program and then this is all being sent to my iPad where I'm able to create basically a virtual camera system. And it allows filmmakers a more natural way to animate the camera in 3D. It requires diverse people from very different backgrounds working together to work on the single game. Cameras basically are reflecting light onto these markers uh, and these are our highly reflective markers and that data shoots back to the cameras and that data is processed and brought into the computer system. So basically what we're doing right now is we're markering up uh, the points of rotation on the suit uh, within the body. So your major joints, your elbow, your knee, um, and we're basically creating a body structure that can be brought into the computer system. The character does what we call range of motion. And once the range of motion is taken, we actually have to recalibrate all that data into the computer system. So there's that one-to-one -one ratio of he's out here with all the markers and all the points, the joints, and all those, that information. And then that's brought into the computer system and it's now calibrated so when he walks out, he's able to uh, calibrate the system and be able to do those actions. So as you can see now where you have the data where the character is able to be in the system and we can see his actions being moved. So once this stage is calibrated and the volume is set up, we're able to move around in space. Uh, we import our scene into the computer and then the uh, cameraman is able to move freely around this space to shoot the camera and then uh, shoot the scene uh, and have similar functions that you would with most cameras. This is kind of the technology that's been used on uh, Avatar um, on a much smaller scale. This is what sets us apart when industry comes looking at us because they see that our students have very real world experience working in large teams that mirror as close to industry as we can. It is a huge business that probably dwarfs all the other forms of entertainment field combined. But beyond the fact of its commercial enterprise, I think gaming is the next step in, our, in the evolution of entertainment. Gaming will be the form where we will consume our entertainment, uh, moving away from and moving beyond movies and television.